Well, this woman right here facing manslaughter charges today. She's accused of shooting a mother through her front door. Fox 35's Valerie Boy is hearing from the victim's family today. Well, 57-year-old Sue Lorenz has now been booked into the Marion County Jail. The victim's mother says she is so grateful to the sheriff for making an arrest, but says this is just the beginning of getting justice. Justice for AJ. Justice for AJ. Justice for AJ. The mother of AJ Owens talks about the arrest of 57-year-old Susan Lorenz, the person charged with shooting and killing AJ last week after the single mom knocked on her door trying to get her son's iPad back. I was relieved and happy that an arrest was made. Although I was saddened that it took four days to happen. Sheriff Woods told us last night that his key witnesses were AJ's kids. He wanted to wait to question them because their mother had just died. Here's the truth. Did we want to make the arrest that night? Absolutely we did. There's no doubt about it. It's tragic when we see somebody that just shoots through a door and shoots another human being. But family attorney Benjamin Crumb says an arrest could have been made without the children's statements. You had all the probable cause you needed to make the arrest because had the roads been reversed, we believe that an arrest would have been made. But Sheriff Wood says by law, he had to take the time to make sure this wasn't a case of self-defense before making an arrest. Family attorney Anthony Thomas says this was never a stand your ground case and tells us what the kids said about the shooting. Said my mom knocked on the door and then when Susan didn't answer, he said his mom said, I know you can hear me. And that's when he heard the shot and saw his mother fall. He said, Grandma, my mom's been shot. I tried to give her CPR. He went to neighbors. Please call 911. Call 911. My mother's been shot. Crumb says he wants to see the manslaughter charges increase to murder. There's evidence there to increase the charges, especially when you think about what happened with her berating the children with racial epithets and profanity. Pamela is trying to stay strong for her grandchildren. She tells us how AJ was a single mom who worked overtime at McDonald's. She leaves behind four young children ages 3 to 12. Her kids were everything to her. And that's all been ripped away from her and those four children. And AJ's funeral will take place on Monday at the immense church. The public is invited, and we are told the Reverend Al Sharpton will be doing the eulogy. Meanwhile, Crumb says he thinks they need to get rid of the stand your ground law, or at least update it, so a person can be arrested immediately. Reporting in Ocala, Valerie Boy, Fox 35 News.